You'll bring discredit to your race if you continue. Don't preach to me! And let my race take care of itself. What's upsetting you? What's the matter? Didn't I lose enough tonight? A subversively dark tale driven more by character than plot. The Shanghai gesture delves into delirium and decadence in Joseph von Sternberg's disturbing noir classic. The city elegance sifts through the film's increasingly foreboding atmosphere. Sternberg's depiction of Shanghai is heavily mirrored in its western stereotype, a festering nest of vice and hedonism whose sole purpose is to corrupt and destroy those who yield themselves to empty pleasures. Jean Tierney is stunning as the vulnerable heroine who is destroyed by gambling, booze and jealousy. The physical changes are marked, but the actress carries the changes excellently. With a terrific ensemble cast, notable as the performance by Anya Munson, who plays the ruthless casino owner, Mother Jin Sling, a spiderish femme fatale who delights in watching her victims become snared in her web of addiction. The Shanghai gesture is proof of what Hollywood can do if it allows its talent the room to manoeuvre. In Shanghai, Dragon Lady Mother Jin Sling operates a gambling house for wealthy patrons. But she clashes with influential land developer Sagai Charteris who wants to put her out of business. In the process, Jin Sling drags Charteris' daughter into decadence. Based on the controversial Broadway play of the same name by John Colton, over 30 revisions were ordered by the Breen Office censors before it was deemed acceptable. Allusions to drug taking and sexual slavery are far less explicit. In one unreleased censored version, attributed to writer Jules Furman, Mother Jin Sling is instead named Mother Goddamn and runs a brothel instead of a casino. Sternberg was gifted at capturing the feel of an exotic city from a regular soundstage. The surreal Baroque setting is a chilling atmospheric work that's shrouded in a haze of deceit, addiction, and ever-impending doom. Amid the festivities of the Chinese New Year, paranoia escalates. The relentless barrage of fireworks and ominous beating of drums insinuates danger. It creates an impression of a palace under siege. Even the lines you like Chinese the echoes from the locals would suggest something far sinister than initially imagined. That danger is only magnified by Mother Jin Sling's domineering presence off screen. In the brooding atmosphere that pervades the film, the audience can suspect she is pulling dastardly strings in her elaborate, vengeful chess match. It seems appropriate her ornate hair design would share similarities to that of Medusa, given the voluptuously acidic nature of her character. It's rather ironic we pity her near the film's closure as she sees herself reflected in Charteris' daughter. Do you know what the China Sea looks like from a boat filled with passengers without hope? Told to laugh and be gay and kicked into not weeping? Victor Mature is subtly sinister as the parasitic Egyptian who unwittingly guides Tierney to her doom. His smarmy demeanor suits the caustic nature of the casino well. It's difficult to watch him lead Poppy deeper and deeper into an addiction to gambling and alcohol. Although Tierney's character becomes far from sympathetic, she compels us to feel for her as she is emotionally ripped apart from the vultures using her for a diabolically selfish purpose. The Shanghai gesture creates an atmosphere of decadence, hedonism and addiction. Having the overall feel of a tragedy, it forebodingly subverts who our characters are and what untimely weaves into the pattern of their destiny. Joseph von Sternberg impressively disturbs conjuring a delirious masterpiece of sinister noir.